Hello friends. In this video I am going to teach you how to make border design. At the end of this video you will learn to create something like this. So let's start. I am going to make similar border design as in reference sample. For now I have used pen tool to create initial motifs. I am arranging these two motifs according to required design. Now, press Alt key along with Shift key and drag to make a copy and place it at specific position. At this stage, press Ctrl D multiple times to make multiple copies and to be placed at same distance. Press Ctrl R to get the ruler on top and left side of the screen. From the left side ruler, drag a guideline and place it at any pointed area. Drag another guideline and place it at next same position. Now using selection tool, right click on the artboard and go for log guides. This way you can lock the guideline and it won't move. Now, using rectangle tool, draw a rectangle inside both guideline. Fill some light color in this rectangle. Now, right click on this rectangle. And click arrange and send to back. The area between this rectangle is the repeat area. Whatever design you will do, will be doing inside this rectangle area. You can delete the motifs which is falling outside the rectangle area. Let's draw another rectangle to get a straight line. Now I'm going to use the third motif. Place it at the left edge of the rectangle. Now, press Alt and Shift key and drag this motif to make a copy. Press Ctrl D multiple times to get more copies. As you can see, the last motif is falling outside the rectangle. Using Shift key and drag, I will place this last motif inside with little space equal to the spacing of other copies. Now, go to Window and open Align Tool. We are going to use the last two options in Align Tool. If you cannot see this last line tools, click on the top right triple line icon and then Show Option. Then, select all these motifs. But, the yellow rectangle is also getting selected. Just select the rectangle and go to Object, Lock, Selection. The rectangle will get locked, and you can't select and move it. Now select these motifs together and click on this icon which is, Horizontal Distribute Space. You will see it will auto-arrange the spacing between, the first and the last motif. I will add a circle at the bottom of all leaf motif. Using Alt drag and shift key together to make a copy. Then Ctrl D to get multiple copies. Let's add another rectangle. So same way keep on creating more designs inside this rectangle area. Make sure you follow the same step, for getting the spacing at the end. Use 
Use Align Tool Horizontal Distribute for Auto Arrange. So now, I feel this is all I want in the border design. Remember, the area inside this rectangle is one repeat. Now go to Object, and click Unlock All. Select this rectangle, and remove the fill. Strictly make sure, that this rectangle does not have any fill, or stroke color. Now select everything. Then open, Brushes. If you cannot find the brush tool, then go to Window, then open Brushes. Now, select all, including the invisible rectangle, and drag and drop into brush panel. A pop-up will open. Here, click on pattern brush then OK. A new pop-up window will open. You can see the preview of border design here. You can also change the corner elements, by clicking on options here. Then, click on Approximate Path. Change the method to Tints. Press OK. You will find, a new brush pattern is created in the brush panel. Right-click on the Artboard and Unlock Guide. Clean the Artboard. Let's test this using brush tool in the toolbar. Looks good. Our border design is ready. You can also reduce the stroke size to reduce the size of the border. Let's try this on a rectangular shape. Click on the border brush to get the border. I will reduce the stroke size. If you want the border to be flipped inside, double click on the new brush. Then, click on the flip across. Press OK. Click on, Apply to Strokes. Now, to adjust the corner, make the corners curve, by dragging this dot inside diagonally. This will make the corner motif adjusted. You can also change the border color, by changing the stroke colors. Our border design is ready. That's all for today. I hope this video was helpful to you. Kindly like and subscribe this channel for more interesting video notification. Thank you.